What's going on, everyone? This is G Dog Casey bringing you another uh, StarCraft II matchup that I just recently uh, played. Actually, I played it today, and oops, I pushed the wrong button. Let's just go ahead and play this game. Alright, this is my opponent, the uh, Red Terran spawning in the bottom left corner. Uh, he is Thrawn. And over here is obviously me, G Dog Casey, as the Blue Zerg spawning in the bottom right corner of this map that I can't remember the name of. I think it's Shakur's Plateau. Yes, it is. I'm pretty much positive it's Shakur's Plateau. Anyway, my reasoning for uh, posting this video is because I actually think it's pretty epic, and also, it is a Zerg vs. Terran, I can't really remember, it's been quite a while since I posted a video on YouTube, um, so I can't really remember if I've even posted a Zerg vs. Terran. Um, you can see my rally point was a little fucked up there, that's a bit of a new mistake, you can see I, I misclicked. But um, anyways, uh, <clears throat> yeah, so we're going to be, uh, sh I'm going to be showing you here a uh, Zerg vs. Terran on my road to the Gold Leagues. I'm still in Silver, but I've been moving up. I'm actually in the top eight. I think I'm in fourth place, actually, in the uh, Silver Leagues here. So I'm getting, I'm getting better. And uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and see what my opponent over here is going to start doing. Obviously, he's going to get his uh, Supply Depot down, and as soon as he hits 150, he should be dropping that Barracks. Um, let's see. Yeah, there goes the barracks. And we'll see what I'm doing right now. Droning up so far, up to 14 already, and I am making another one. So, uh, most likely you'll see me going to, uh, 15 here. Yep, and what is going on with my mineral? Oh, I just didn't have the larva for it. Okay. So, up to 15 now. Ha, huh, I can zoom in. That's cool. And, uh, you'll be seeing a fast expand out of me. Let's go ahead and get that started. Okay, I actually went to 16. I don't even know how I play. Here you can see sending the overlord in pretty much the farthest direction possible. So I actually decided, and so usually I set my second overlord, overlord right here, but <clears throat> just in case I wanted to send this one this way, because uh, just in case he wasn't up there, I don't like sending drone scouts, so I would rather, much rather find out with my overlord. Plus he's Terran, he's already walled off anyway, even if I did send a drone scout, I wouldn't actually be able to get anything done. So you can see dropping the uh, spawning pool, or sorry, the uh, hatchery here at 16, and then the gas and the spawning pool both at 15. And over here we can see my opponent is making another barracks, so he's going for two barracks, um, showing signs of uh, marine, possibly marauder. Uh, I don't, I'm not too sure about marauders in a, in a Terran versus Zerg, because unless I go for roaches, it's really not, um, they're really not that useful. We can see he's dropping two gas geysers here, or two refineries, my bad. Um, so we can uh, assume that he's going to be going for a gas-heavy build. Meanwhile, spawning pool just about to finish. Hatchery just about to finish. Overlord over here realizing no one's there, sending him this way just in case. But I am finding his base now, so it doesn't really matter. Seeing that he's actually dropping a third barracks here, so going for a three racks. Um, actually, I don't really know what his plan is, but he is going to come and kill off this Overlord. So we can see here getting double queens for the injects. Uh, very important as a Zerg player, at least in my opinion. I believe that those injects are insanely important, uh, which is pretty standard anyway, so whether it's my opinion or not, um, it doesn't really matter. Popping up four Zerglings uh, just to get, you know, a little bit of defense or a little bit of uh, scouting info with them because that's who I like to actually scout with, and uh, we'll see what happens with those. As of right now, uh, Queen has popped. I was waiting for this Queen to come out just so I can line up the injects. It's just easier for me that way. Starting on Metabolic Boost, and uh, he's actually a little bit later on his uh, on his Orbital Command here, but it's not too much of a big deal. Three racks dropping Reactor, Reactor, and Tech Lab, and getting that Combat Shield first. Um, which, I don't know, I find pretty interesting. If When I play Terran, I'd much rather get that Stim Pack upgrade first, but, you know, whatever, to each their own. Um, I don't really foresee any uh, early combat going on anyways, and for him to actually need that. So we can see my four uh, Zerglings moving out, leaving one at the tower, uh, because I do know he's down here. No real need for one to be up here just yet. And I'm just going to be parking these Zerglings outside his ramp. Maybe pop up and see what I can see around here, because I actually uh, haven't even been able to see. If you can take a look, I don't even really know what's there. So, uh, yeah, there's that. So yeah, he will pop up, and I will not even lose one. That guy almost died. How much hit points does he have? Two hit points left. Um, so sending another Overlord over here, one of my big issues um, with StarCraft 2 right now for me is scouting with Zerg, because I find it pretty hard. I mean, with Protoss you got the Observer, and with Terran you have Scan. With Zerg, especially if he walls off, the only thing you can really do is send an Overlord in. 
um, at least in my opinion, if you guys know how to do this uh, better than that, then uh, by all means let me know. I, I don't really get much info on that, even from watching all the pro games that I do. Uh, so let's see here. What I got another hatchery. What? Oh, that's the lair. Alright, starting the lair. <laughs> um, fairly early. I don't know, 7 minutes. Sometimes I even start at 6.30, just because uh, I just like to get it out of the way and move right into Mutalisk. So my plan for this game was to go Zergling Muta, because... <coughs> Usually that's all I really need. Um, you can see getting uh, all the rest of the geysers that are available to me right now. And honestly, not too much else is going on in my base. I'm just droning up hard. Um, getting that third queen for a little bit of creep spread. And I believe I uh, plan to expand sometime soon. Zergling's still out here. Keeping an eye on anything that's actually going to be coming out of the base. We see a factory uh, finished already and a starport going down as well as two engineering bays. Very good. See, if he's got the two gas geysers, this is going to be a good way for him to actually spend that excess gas that he's going to have, and uh, as well as getting the siege uh, siege tech upgrade for his siege tanks. And concussive shells, has he even got... He hasn't even got stim yet. He's saving that to the last, which I find pretty interesting. We do see quite a few marauders here for him, but he is actually getting all these upgrades here, so nice use of his gas, and he's actually keeping it fairly low. Pretty low, actually. Good job of him. This guy was a pretty decent player, for sure, uh, although I would expect him to try to expand by this point, um, instead of just sitting on one base, but, you know, no uh, big worries there. He can do what he wants. Uh, you see the Spire going down for me um, as soon as the uh, lair was finished. I'm trying to keep on top of my injects. Um, it's not, like, I'm not, like, the worst injector, but you can see here there's quite a bit of time going on without me actually injecting. Come on. Inject, getting the uh, double evolution chamber down, still not injecting. S uh, seeing that he's got quite a bit of marines with uh, that last poke in, I did decide to drop down the. There's the inject. I decided to drop down the baneling nest just in case. Uh, I wasn't really sure exactly how many. Oh, what, what happened? Actually, I think I may have sent that overlord in and he died, and I saw a bunch of marines come over to try to shoot him. I believe that's what happened. I kind of missed that on the replay. Look at all these missile turrets going down. That's actually quite a lot. Um, I mean, he is not making anything out of here, and he is moving out with his forces here, actually uh, just destroying those three Zerglings, but I do know that something's coming up, so you'll start to see me stop actually droning up a little bit. I do uh, drop down my third here, but I'm going to need a few more units just in case he decides to move out with that, but it looks like he'll just be standing out here uh, protecting his expansion. Look at all those fucking missile turrets, that's insane. I mean, I understand that Zerglings can go mutus. Uh, but he hasn't even seen my spire yet. At least I don't think so. Let's take a look. He's uh, he's number one. Yeah, he has absolutely. He's not, he hasn't even seen my base yet. Um, so I mean that could be potentially wasted money if I did not decide to go for uh, for those mutas. Now, uh, <clears throat> and still to this point, I haven't even got them yet. I'm just saving up some gas here, uh, getting some upgrades here uh, finally for my zerglings, and I should be getting this uh, baneling speed eventually. Um, let's see here, dropping some creep tuners. Uh, I'm actually trying my best to uh, get that extra queen out and focus on some creep tumors and I just realized that you can actually clip, click on a creep tuner tumor, and drop another one from it. So I mean you barely even need your queen. I, I don't even really know what's going on with that. I should go back to the everyone cam. Uh, my overlord was taking a couple shots from that, uh, from that missile turret. Uh, right now, from him, we can see he's getting building armor. I mean, I guess he, he's doing a very good job spending all his gas, so I guess he's just getting all the upgrades that are available to him at this point. Uh, hasn't dropped down the armory yet, so he can't be working on plus two. Is that the armory? Yeah, there it goes. And uh, he's got these siege tanks here. Very, very good position for these siege tanks. They're on the high ground and pretty much stops any Zerglings or Banelings from being able to go up this ramp because... Like, you could eventually make it up, but you just take so many losses, it's not even worth it. And, uh, you'll see that in the future, I'm sure. Uh, I guess these, uh, Marauders are a little bit misrallied, and he's not using his barracks right now. So maybe a little bit of a flaw there, but, um, you know, that's just the way he's doing it. He's spending more time getting those siege tanks, and actually getting some Vikings out of his starport here. So maybe he's going to try to snipe off some Overlords, not too sure yet. Over in my base, we can see the creep spread going pretty well, um got queens everywhere now at each base. I actually have four queens 
so I can uh, continue to creep spread. I should be, yeah, dropping some tumors there to at least try to connect these two bases and just getting a whole bunch of upgrades. I even got the uh, centrifugal hooks, which is the overlord speed, I believe. Or actually, that could be the bane link speed. Yes, it is. And uh, still working on the plus one upgrades. Finally starting to get some mutas up here. I got this amount. <laughs> I don't know how much that is. Let's see. Uh, well, 17 now after those other ones just pop. So uh, pretty much we're both just macroing up here. He's playing very defensive. I probably could do something to him right now, which maybe I probably should have just tested it. But the thing is, is I realized with the uh, Overlord that he's got... I saw the one Viking, and I see all these missile turrets, so I'm a little worried about just bringing my mutas in here to try to drop these tanks. I actually don't even know they're there right now. So uh, I'm just droning up here trying to get some saturation on my third, and uh, hopefully we'll be working towards a fourth soon. But uh, just making sure that I am at least one base ahead of the Terran here. He's getting his plus two, plus two now. And uh, yet again, still doing a pretty good job spending his gas. I, in my opinion, for Zerg, it's actually not bad to have access gas, especially once you're at the mid-game lair stage here, getting plus one for my uh, my uh, Mutalisks or my air units, we can say. Come on, inject. Let's go, inject. At this point, I did start massing up an army. I think I'm pretty good. Let's see how many drones I have right now. 70 drones. Very nice number. Uh, pretty much between 70 and 80 is all you really need. And uh, so I think that's actually a good, uh, pretty good thing right there, <laughs> as far as uh, drones go. So starting, so my plan here, I got a few extra bane links because I was assuming there was going to be a lot more uh, marines going on. So morphing in some bane links just for them. And my plan for this one was just muta, ling, bane ling. Uh, well, it was ling, but I threw in the bane links obviously for marines. And uh, you can see I'm just working on upgrades now, just pumping out 16 overlords. Just I have so much money right now. I should be dropping a fourth. Uh, he's scanning, actually looking for my fourth. Pretty good. Uh, this is a Silver League player here who uh, I think he's playing better than a Silver League player really should. So you can see all those overlords coming out. I am getting the uh, level 2 now upgrades and the level 2 attack upgrade for my mutas uh, popping out right now. Finally getting that inject on. And I. Okay, I did get that overlord speed. I just didn't actually catch it, which is. Uh, important because I did want to eventually just send an overlord right in and see what I can see. We see him dropping down two more starports. Um, oh, yeah, there goes that overlord. Didn't even make it anywhere close, but, you know, one can try. Um, I don't even know if I saw, let's see, did I see those? I did see the starports going down. Um, not sure if I actually clicked to see what they were, but I do know there's something going on over there. And we can see he's starting to mass up on Vikings a little bit. He's already got three right now, but he's getting two more. And I'm sure once these starports are over, I can expect to see some starports going, or some reactors going down. Maybe a tech lab. Who knows? Um, so, so far, looking at the map here, continuing to, sped that, to spread that creep. And uh, getting, I'm pretty much maxed out now. I might, my my uh, supply is so much higher than his right now, because he is spending all of his time getting upgrades. Plus three of both armor and weapons are started already for him, so he's doing a very good job with that. I am dropping the infestation pit. Not for infestors, but just trying to move over to hives because we are at 18 minutes into the game already. And really no engagements going down. So I do drop that fourth up here. Pretty much just like, alright, you want a macro? I'll macro as hard as I possibly can. Because, uh, you know, he's only got three... He's got two factories, three barracks, and three starports. He, he can produce fairly well off that, but with four bases, I can produce much more, as you can see by the supply count right there. Um, so at max now, I believe I should start moving out somewhat soon. I'm still trying to spread that creep, although I was getting a little nervous about getting too close to his base there. But let's go. So let's see what's going on. We got the uh, Zerglings and Banelings moving out across the map into the middle here, and I got my Mutas. I know about all these missile turrets here, so my Mutas are going to take the roundabout way. And, uh, you know, that's okay because he's obviously not showing any signs of attacking. But look at all these tanks here. There's absolutely no way my Zerglings will be able to do anything to him. My Mutus could possibly, but he's actually like... It's like he guessed perfectly right that I was going for Mutus. So he masses up on a bunch of Vikings here. But the Vikings are actually, let's see, not upgraded at all. Whereas my Mutas, where are they? Right here, dip, uh, they have two attack right now, so... I did try to see what I could see there. Finally deciding to move in my Zerglings here, and you can see why. Uh, 
that was actually a bad idea. This is me finding out about these tanks up here. So I was like, alright, I'm going to have to figure something out here. So uh, finally pulling back. I still have quite a few banelings just because they weren't actually fast enough to get in there to get attacked. Uh, but no, no worries here. I got 60 zerglings on the way. He's pumping out five more vikings. He's just going like straight up viking pressure here. Or not pressure, but I guess defense against these uh, mutas here. So we can see right now I still have... Uh, 28 Mutalix, which is a pretty decent Mutalix ball for sure. 73 Zerglings on the field, 13 Banelings, and uh, things are looking... I mean, as far as army size go, let's take a look. I am leading, although not... I mean, I am leading by quite a bit, but not by all that much. Although we can see that uh, our buddy Thrawn here only has 44 SCVs, and uh, he has... Let's see here. Oops. Uh, he has pretty much stopped pumping out SCVs, he's okay with 44. Now he is on two bases, but he you can still get a little bit more. Um, he's actually mined out of his main at this point. And uh, let's see, do I got I got some decent saturation up here, decent saturation there, and here, and I'm mined out of my main as well. So he's actually sending all his Vikings in, and he's just gonna take out all my overlords. And at this point, I was like, like I didn't really care, but I feel like I'm gonna have to max out more in the future. So. Uh, I'm going to be sending my Mutas and the rest of my army too because I didn't want them to be isolated here with no Muta support. So I'm sending them back as well just to uh, play a bit of defense. And I'm supply cap now, but it's not going to be a problem because I have so much larva. And look at those Mutas just destroy those Vikings. I don't even know if I really lost all that much. I think I lost like three Mutas there. Just disgusting. Uh, back to the production tab. We can see I am working on plus three, plus three and plus three, as well as the adrenal, grand, uh, adrenal glands, which is like the crackling upgrade for the zerglings, uh, making their attack speed that much faster, and uh, accidentally <laughs> grabbing my queens here. That was a bit of a new mistake. Look at how much high energy they have. You know, the, the signs of a silver league player right there. And trying to do a little bit of damage here with my mutas. Picking off one tank, but realizing that it's just too crazy. He's got more vikings there. I don't want to engage. Well, I'm getting hammered by missile turrets and Vikings and Marines. So, uh, yeah, we actually can see that I'm pretty much... I've been ahead of him in supply the entire game here. But finding it hard to actually get anything done with all these missile turrets. Look at that. That's insane. Keeping his money all the way down, but of course it's easier to keep your money all the way down when you only have 44 SCVs. He's starting to uh, transition into Thors now, whereas I was just transitioning transitioning into upgrades, hoping it, hoping that upgrades would be enough to allow me to bust up that ramp, but unfortunately not too much uh, happening with that. So let's go ahead and see what's going on in the main. You can see that I have uh, started Hive, or I, yeah, I, I just finished the Hive upgrade. Um, blah, blah. Oh yeah, so that, that was the whole reason why I was able to get those, uh, those upgrades there. So here's pretty much the first time I've ever built a Greater Spire. I was thinking, alright, you know what, this is the time where uh, end game units are needed because I can't really see myself breaking up that ramp. So I was thinking Broodlords uh, possibly being able to uh, help me get up that ramp here. Noticing his third going down here, trying to take it down, but getting fucking hammered by those siege tanks there. And you know what guys, give me one quick second. I'm going to turn the sound down, it should be down. I forgot to do that, that should be good. All right, let's keep this going here, because when those tanks start firing, it just like it makes me have to yell, and I don't like that. So trying to find a way in there, but he's just got so much good anti-air here with all these Vikings and all these uh, missile turrets. These guys got miss rally, or not miss rally, but just a misclick pretty much. I managed to get these ones back, but that's okay because I needed some uh, room. Ultralist cavern going down as well because uh, I was thinking that should help go up this ramp as well. I was kind of thinking to go a little bit of Broodlord and Ultralisk, and uh, that's not the best idea because my gas is actually pretty much gone now. What did I spend all that gas on? I don't even know. But my gas is just gone, and uh, pretty much just containing him to, th to three bases. Uh, really wanting to knock this base down. We don't want a Terran getting up to uh, his third base here. Creep spread starting to crawl into that, and maybe we can stop that turret from going down. Yes, we can. And uh, just refilling out on my mutalisks, which was a mistake because obviously, in order to get those uh, corrupt or those broodlords, you need corruptors. But I'm figuring, like with 
what, 39 mutalisks? I should be able to do something here. There is a Thor, one single Thor on the field for Thrawn right now, and he's still at pretty low supply. So, I mean, I'm not really sure. Like, these tanks, all these tanks here is all you need to stop me from getting up that ramp, especially these ones on the high ground, because they're, even if I can get in close here, there's still nothing he can actually do. Circling with the mutas here, trying to go in this way. This is when I realized, like, holy fucking shit, he's got so many... Uh, so many of these missile turrets here. I'm trying to take down a few of them, but then the Vikings come in to help, and how many did I lose there? Losing eight, oh, nine Mutalisks there. So, uh, that's pretty bad. These Zerglings and Banelings pretty much can't do anything right now. Mutas taking a couple shots from that missile turret there, but still, I'm still way in the lead. I actually dropped a fifth base here, and I need to get these gas guy geysers up because my gas is starting to suffer pretty heavily there. I'm almost completely mined out of my natural. And this game is getting pretty damn long. Still trying my best to keep up with the injects. You can see there's like tons of larvae that I'm not even using. Just because I've been maxed out for so long. Uh, here we go. We see him moving out. Trying to take out some creep spread here. That's a very small force. Actually, because he took out these creep tumors. Um, I didn't realize this right, out, right away. I actually wasn't watching the map. Because he took out those creep tum tumors. I actually wasn't able to see that this was quite a small force. You can see here the corruptors finally getting made. Hoping to get morph a few into Broodlords, but I didn't realize I was so low on gas. So as of right now, those uh, Corruptors aren't really going to be able to do very much. Morphing in a few more Banelings, uh, just for the hell of it, pretty much. And, uh... Can I take out that Thor? Yes, I can. And I actually have quite a good force here, but this is a planety planetary fortress, so, uh... I'm not expecting much to happen out of here. Banelings, uh, here just for the hell of it, like I said. And repairs going down on that planetary fortress, and unfortunately not able to do very much damage at all. Resources lost, tap. Uh, that's resources. Where's resource? Is it units lost? Yeah, we can see I have lost so much more money in units than he has. But with my crazy economy, let's take a look at the economy here. It is right now actually not that much better than him. Probably because I'm mined out of my natural. I got a few zergling or a few drones sitting around doing nothing. Because I am a noob, but let's close that off there. Too many mutalisks here now. These mutas are not going to do anything. I should have realized that and just switched completely to corruptors. But at the same time, I'm not just going to throw these away. They can still help in a fight. So back to the production tab here. You can you can see the broodlords coming in. I've got four right now. I'm trying to get a fifth one, but my gas is so low. And I've never used broodlords before. I've seen them in pro games that I watch, but I've actually never really done much with them. So. I'm not entirely sure, like, the best way to use them. I was thinking, you know, well, we'll see what I was thinking. Well, I'll try to try to use them here. So Broodlord's going in. This is dumb, putting them ahead uh, ahead of my army, and they're just going to get focused down by those Vikings. But I'm trying to get the Mutalix in for a little bit of, uh, a little bit of, uh, for the, like, tanking for the Broodlords. But Broodlord's really not able to do all that much. This guy's got two kills. And that's about it. I do, though, send the rest of my Zerglings and Banelings in, and I manage to take out that third base. So uh, that's a victory there, although I pretty much had to tr trade my entire army. Mutas here, I guess I just wasn't paying attention to them. I was actually focused on these Broodlords here. More or less just interested in what they were doing, trying to see like how, how good they are. Realizing that I lost the rest of my army here, though, um, backing them away because they're obviously just going to get slaughtered. And we can see here that he's still only got three barracks here. I can't see any more anywhere else. So, yeah, he must only have three. And he's not even producing out of them. He's just going strictly Vikings. Um, these tanks are more than enough for defense for now. I did get some more uh, Zerglings out. And why am I going to Mutas again? In the future, I'm going to have to realize, like, my Mutas absolutely weren't working. And these Broodlords are going to go down fairly easily because of all these Vikings here. These Zerglings are pretty safe, though. Uh, I'm just trying to keep an eye on what he plans to do with those uh, those Vikings there. Getting 34 more. And honestly, right now, it's just like, alright, like whose macro is better? And I believe mine was better. I mean, it's pretty evident. Look at all the bases I have. He didn't put any pressure on me besides uh, those Vikings killing some overlords. Uh, his army getting a little close here, so I had to back those up. A little bit of Miss Rally Lings. Same with the, uh, the Mutas. Got to back those up. And uh, right now, I, I lost like in pretty much almost all my army there. These meters will be able to mop up these Vikings though, no problem. Take a little bit of damage, but you know, fuck Vikings. 
He's going with, I don't even, oh, what's this? Oh, yeah, this is the uh, armor upgrade for my Ultralisks. And at this point, I was thinking, like, all right, you know, Broodlords, I don't really know how to use them. Mutalisks aren't working at all. Do I have the gas? I still don't even have anything going on here. This is used just for the larva, which is, look at all this larva that I haven't even used yet. Finally transferring some drones over there. I do have gas here, and I do have gas getting started over here. So I'm going to need that gas, uh, especially when I'm trying to get those uh, Ultralisks out. And I'm mined out of gas at my natural and at my main. Why is this one not mined out yet? Still got 384. I don't know how long I only had one uh, drone in there. But yeah, that's mined out over here. Going to be mined out fairly shortly. So all I'm doing now is just, like, the lings... I, I just feel like lings are so good, especially when they're fully, fully upgraded. And and this is a very good move by our friend Thrawn here. Dropping the tanks on the high ground. There's no way I can get them. He sieges them up, and I'm like, oh, shit. Uh, very good move by Thrawn. I was impressed with that, and also a little worried. Um, I w he could have just placed some tanks up here as well. And just pretty much take control of this whole area and this whole area with his siege tanks, meaning I, my ground forces can't even go anywhere. He does have his uh, third base up and going yet again. Turns it into an orbital, orbital instead. And let's take a look at the units here. He is on 28 SCVs. He hasn't even thought about rebuilding any SCVs. Okay, he is now with just one of them. But uh, that's very little SCVs. So he is not going to be able to uh, reinforce his army. Whereas I, right now, I'm at 60. I've been losing some because of uh, building buildings. Uh, but, you know, and gas geysers and stuff like that. But still have a very big advantage. So finally getting, how many is that? Six Ultra Lux out. Three more on the way. And uh, I'm thinking, alright, this is enough. This has to be enough. But I've, I remember these tanks being here, so I have to go around the other way. And uh, let's see what happens with these. Checking for a uh, fourth now. And seeing these two tanks, I was like, oh shit, get those tanks! I gotta kill as many tanks as possible. And then just going in with the Ultras because they have such good armor over here. These, uh, these tanks won't be able to do all that much to the Ultras. So th and he actually he moved all his defensive tanks. I didn't even realize he did that. So I guess very lucky timing by me. Just deciding to go into the natural here. Destroy a bunch of his uh, his shit. Pretty much. I was I just A moved in here and they just started killing whatever they wanted. This Ultra <laughs> pretty much left for dead. But I do have five more on the way. Uh, this base is actually built now. Which I didn't really realize at the time. But these lings are wreaking havoc in the main here. Busting down. Oh, okay. A Marine got out of there. But he's going to die very quickly. Um, and right now, like, there's not very much he can do. I'm just overwhelming him with Zerglings. Five more Ultras on the way. 26 more Lings. I still have Ultras in his base. I see that Thor, and eventually I'm going to go and just take out that Thor. Drops like a rock super fast. And uh, at this point, he's pretty much lost the game. And uh, But he's actually mining very, very heavily over here. He needs to transfer some over there, maybe for a hope to catch up. And these tanks are still taking out a lot of those Ling reinforcements. So this is when I'm like, all right, seven mutas is all I really need to take out these tanks. I pretty much technically only need one. But, uh, you know. And this uh, Ultra, I, <laughs> I noticed those uh, SCVs were going up there. So that's when I just sent all these uh, up here to just destroy that base. Meanwhile, Link's still... Just killing everything. I, I wasn't really focusing anything down. I just wanted them to kill everything. The Lings are highly upgraded. They can take down buildings pretty quickly. Obviously with the Ultras on the way as well. Or with the Ultras dealing uh, massive damage as well. So at this point I was like, alright, I won. You know, there's pretty much nothing that he can do. So in the future, I'm probably just going to stick to Ling Ultra. And uh, maybe a few Mutas, on, uh, Mutas to help take care. Where are those Mutas? I swear I built mutas, and I put them somewhere. Are they over here? No. Those mutas need to be uh, taking out those tanks. There they are, finally taking out those tanks. And probably that medevac as well, and he just leaves the game. Which I was kind of upset about. I mean, I know like after a big long game like that, you uh, end losing it, it really sucks. But I thought it was a really good game. He, he had amazing defense. Um, was able to keep me out of his natural uh, two... My, uh, how do I say this? <laughs> to, uh, his defense was very good, but I did the, like, I wasn't smart at all about it. I just kept throwing lings in there, and they just kept dying. Um, I should have transitioned into something else, probably try to get those ultras up a lot sooner. Um, I'm not really sure what to do against a Terran who just, like, 
stacks up a ton of tanks, you know? I mean, Muta's work, but he had so many missile turrets that I couldn't do anything. So, I mean, I was kind of at a loss. It took me a while to figure out how to do it. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I know it was a long game. Um, I just I felt pretty uh, happy with the win. Um, I don't think I have very many Zerg vs. Terran on my YouTube channel at all. So thanks again for watching, guys, and uh, I'll see you guys later.